Hey, what is up, you guys? Zero Fats here, aka Cam Genix, coming at you on behalf of Nutribullet Time. Uh Welcome. Guys, today I wanted to talk to you about um, something that's really been bugging me uh, for a while now, honestly, for, for a few years, honestly, it's been bugging me. It, but it's the duality of nutrition uh, that, that I've run into, especially as I've been trying to get more and more serious about losing weight and about trying to get to a healthy place in life physically. Uh, man, the duality of nutrition drives me crazy. I mean, it is really just, it's bad. And it's, it's funny. It's almost a joke. Um, for everything in the world that you think is good when it comes to health, there is an opposing argument that says it is bad. And it's almost, it's, it's almost, it's, it's a joke. It's just laughable. I mean, it's, it's just, it's unreal. Some of this stuff has to be just being made up, just just being thrown out there for the sake of financial gain. It can't it can't be that much duality. There has to be some truths in the world. I mean, every truth can't have an anti-truth. It, it's ridiculous. Anyways, I, I thought I'd give you guys a few just to show you what I'm talking about because I'm not trying to speak in riddles. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me just give you a few examples. Earlier today, I went online and I found uh, I, 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 was, I was taking simple things that I, I knew to be good for me, right? That I've been taught my whole life were, were good, healthy, healthy snacks, healthy foods, healthy exercises uh, that I thought were good. And I, I wanted to prove that I could find duality on all of them. The first one was bananas. Here are three articles that I found. And I'm going to put all these articles. I'm going to put this whole document in my description of this video. So you guys can refer, you guys can look at these on your own. But I just wanted to show you. Bananas are bad. I found three articles. It took me like five minutes to find three articles telling me bananas are bad for me. Snacking on banana is a bad for me. Right? Bad for me with a question mark. And if you read this article, it will basically tell you, hey, these things aren't really that good for you. Okay? Two. You eat a banana for breakfast, here's the bad news. This is another article that supports that, hey, eating a banana for breakfast is probably not the best idea. These things aren't very good for you. Number three, so apparently bananas are as bad for you as cookies and french fries. Another article, and if you read any of these three articles, it would make you back off of bananas seriously. Right? Here's three more articles I found easy, just as easy as the first three. No, bananas are good. 25 powerful reasons to eat bananas. Now, if you read this article and you didn't read these three articles, you would think, damn, I need to be eating bananas every single day, right? 11 evidence-based health benefits of bananas. Another one. It tells you these things are anti-inflammatory. They cure everything from, you know, <laughs> asthma to cancer, you know, just crazy. Uh, Number three, 21 amazing things that happen to your body when you eat bananas, right? Now, if you read any of these three articles, you would think bananas are absolutely fantastic, right? You'd be eating them every day. If you read any of these three articles, you'd think, maybe I'll back off the bananas. Maybe I'll just eat a banana like every couple times a week. Maybe I'll just take them out of my diet, period, you know? They don't seem like they're that great for me, right? But it presents a duality of the simple banana, right? And it leaves you second-guessing yourself and not really quite sure what to do. And even though most of us just pick one, we don't really truly know because there's so much misinformation out there. We don't know what the real thing is. All these articles sound legit. If you read either one of these or any of these articles, you would think, yeah, that sounds legit. It, it, it presents a duality that makes it hard for people to get healthy. Let me move on. Here's spinach, right? What are the effects of too much spinach? These are, these are spinach's bad articles, right? What are the effects of too much spinach? If you read this article, you would think, wow, I really need to watch how much spinach I eat. I need to back off the spinach, right? Ten major side effects of eating too much spinach. Is, there too, much, is too much spinach unhealthy? Now, if you read any of these three articles, you would think, whoa, if I'm eating spinach, I need to really watch how much I'm eating. And maybe I'll just say, forget that. That's too much trouble. I'm just going to eat something besides spinach, right? 
But then if I read these three articles, no, spinach is good. The benefits of spinach consumption. Is eating raw spinach good for you? I know that headline is questionable, but I promise if you read this article, you would be left thinking, I need to eat more and more spinach, right? The world's healthiest foods, spinach, right? If you read any of these three articles, you would leave feeling great about spinach, like you need to be eating this stuff every day. There's a duality here. These three articles were very easy to find. These three, these three articles were equally easy to find. There's a major duality here. And it's not just with spinach and bananas, you guys. It's with everything health-related. I'm telling you, this is, this is uh, just laughable. It's, it's so ridiculous. Um, here's one on running, right? Running is bad. Why too much running is bad for your health. Right? When it comes to jogging, less is more, studies argue. Endurance training is bad for your heart. Right? And then here's three that are good about running, right? No, running is good. Six ways running improves your health. Ten reasons running is good for you. Thirty convincing reasons to start running now. Now, if you read these three articles, you would think, whoa, I need to pick some kind of exercise besides running. This isn't even really good for you. If you read these three articles, you would think you need to go buy a new pair of running shoes and get started today, right? And that's the duality on something as simple as running, right? Multivitamins. Multivitamins are bad. Why multivitamins might do more harm than good. Experts, don't waste your money on multivitamins. Are multivitamins just a waste of money? Now, if you read either any of these three articles, you would leave feeling like multivitamins are a big con. It's a big jip. Waste the money, waste the time. But these three articles were just as easy to find. Why you need a multivitamin to achieve your health and fitness goals. 20 little known reasons to take a daily multivitamin. Multivitamins, the case for taking one a day. Here's three articles, super easy to find. And if you read these three articles, you would think, wow, I really need to get, start taking a multivitamin today. Right? There's a duality there. It, it's a freaking joke, man. Here's another one. Green smoothies. Green smoothies are bad, right? Articles. Are green smoothies bad for you? How green smoothies can devastate your health. Three reasons to avoid green smoothies. Guys, I found these articles easily. I could have found ten if I wanted to. Okay? And then here's the argument for green smoothies. Green smoothies. Why are they so good for you? Why they are so good for you. Top 10 benefits of green smoothies. Green smoothie health benefits. Okay? If you read any of these three articles, you would leave feeling like you need to start drinking green smoothies every single day. If you read any of these three articles, you would think, whoa, I'm not even messing with those green smoothies. Forget it. Maybe once a week I'll have one. You know? So there's a, there's a major duality happening here. It's really no wonder why... There's so many people overweight um, in the world right now, you know, especially in countries like America and first world countries uh, where people have money. They have money. They can buy the food they want to buy. It's readily available for them to buy it. Uh, and you'll find in countries like that, people seem to be gaining weight. OK, and there's a duality here with, with with nutrition. Nobody knows what the real answer is. And, you know, this is repeated in diets. You have diets out there like the ketogenic diet, uh, and then you have diets out there like um, you know whole foods, plant-based diets, right? And, and they're just exact opposites of each other. The, there's a duality there. They both say they're right. They both seem legit when you look at the science, but which one is really right? They can't both be right. They're, they're, they're basically spitting in the face of the other one, you know, so... It's a situation where they can't both be right. One of them has to be wrong. Okay, It's the same thing with, with these dualities here. Are bananas good for you or are bananas bad for you? Um, well, they say everything is bad for you unless you do it in moderation. Sure, that, that's an easy answer. That's an easy answer. But if you start looking at all these articles, you will see opinions being shaped. One is an opinion for something and one is an opinion against something. Right, And what it leaves is a bunch of people overweight, confused about health and nutrition, and just frustrated with the whole situation, which is basically where I'm at with it. It's absolutely stupid.
It is stupid. I could have went on and on, guys. I didn't have to stop with green smoothies. I want you guys to know I literally picked these topics randomly. Bananas, spinach, multivitamins, running, uh, green smoothies. These are random topics I picked, you guys. I picked them randomly. I found a duality with every one. If I wanted to say apples are good for you, I could find five or ten articles that support that. If I wanted to say apples are bad for you, I could find five or ten articles to support that too. It's absolutely a joke. So anyways, this is day 13 of my 30 day weight loss challenge. And I admit, this is the first day I tried to do uh, no food, no, no bread and no sugar. Um, I made it all day uh, without doing any bread or any sugar. And as the day went on, what I noticed was... I, I was getting more and more um, miserable, like kind of, it's, it was a weird feeling, like when I try to get off of caffeine, you know, even, I don't even take a lot of caffeine, but I have a little bit of caffeine and tea and stuff, and when I try to not do caffeine, I notice I'll start to get a headache, right, so that's like when you detox off of caffeine, you get like a headache, but when I tried not doing any sugar or any bread, I just started getting kind of dark, like a dark oppressed feeling, just really just kind of miserable, like the world was bad, you know, and that's how I was start starting to feel, so about later tonight, about 9 or 10 at night, I said, you know what, man, let me just do an experiment here, so I said, you know, let me just, let me have like a piece of candy, so I, I ate like a Reese cup, you know, and I want you to know that instantly, like those oppressive, dark, bad feelings started to just dissipate, like melt away within like minutes of eating this Reese cup. It was crazy. It was scary. And it made me realize, wow, sugar has a crazy hold over me. And uh, maybe, maybe stopping the bread and stopping the sugar at the same time, maybe that was too much. Maybe I just need to do this week with the bread. And then next week, tack on the sugar. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, but also it was eye-opening because it made me think, wow, I cannot believe sugar is so damn addictive. Because I didn't even realize I was detoxing off of sugar. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal to stop eating sugar. But man, I felt really bad all day and it just got worse and worse. Anyways, that's all I got today. I wanted to talk to you guys about the duality of nutrition and health and how just outrageous it is. Um, I hope you guys find diets out there that are good for you, that leave you happy, healthy, illness-free, and whatnot. Um, me personally, my quest continues. I'm going to keep it up every single day. I'll be doing videos on my journey, teaching you guys what I'm learning, telling you my opinions on how I'm getting going with it. And uh, hey... The quest continues. Keep it up. Godspeed. Good luck. Good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>